As the largest free food festival in Europe, according to Fish Day manager Julius Juliusson, the Great Fish Day in Dalvik, northeast Iceland, has grown in popularity and size every year since it was first held in 2001. This year, an estimated 35,000 people visited Dalvik during the Great Fish Day on August 11th, 16 times the community's population of 2,200, which is a new record. Guests were offered a free cruise on Eyjafjallafjord, and bands and clowns entertained the crowd. Some visitors wore the Icelandic national costumes for the occasion. A local fish producer, Thorsten Alstenson, first had the idea of the festival in 2001. Other fish producers in Dalvik liked it and urged them to see it through. Alstenson contacted his friend, Ulvar Eystenson, a chef at restaurant Þrýr Frakkar in Reykjavik, who specializes in seafood. Eystenson agreed to become the festival's master chef. Dalvikurbyg municipality became involved and with support from several companies, both inside and outside of Dalvik, and a vast number of volunteers, the Great Fish Day turned into reality. The festival's philosophy is that every guest should be able to eat his or her fill of free fish. People walked around the harbour area and queued beside the many food booths offering free seafood. Dishes included raw shrimp, which guests could peel themselves, raw minky whale and raw salmon, fish burgers, shrimp salad with blue cheese, grilled marinated river trout and cod, salt fish balls in a sweet and sour sauce, herring on dark rye bread, plockfiskur, a salt fish casserole, Asian shrimp balls and dried fish with butter. Dried fish was served by employees of the local fish export company Salka Seafood dressed in Nigerian costumes. Salka Seafood mainly exports fish products to Nigeria, dried fish, stockfish and fish heads, and the company's Nigerian business partners gave them costumes to wear at the occasion. Last year, a few of the Nigerian fish importers came to Dalvik to attend the Great Fish Day Festival in person. The youngest generation was keen on catching their own fish and brought their fishing rods to the harbour. The kids caught a number of coal fish, which they planned to cook and eat at home. There were plenty organized activities for children to choose from, like horseback riding or having their faces painted like Spider-Man or any other superhero or fairytale character. They could also watch a puppet theatre or a staging of the children's play The Animals of Hakibaki Forest by Norwegian playwright Turbjörn Egner. The Great Fish Day ended with a fireworks show at midnight on Saturday.